Hi, this is M24Tom. This is a second tutorial on how to use XCSOR, specifically how to use the XCSOR logging function and view log files. Um, things you're going to need, um, XCSOR by, uh, first let's put this off to the side, I will uh, post this along with the video um, so you can refer to it. Um, first you're going to need uh, XCSOR by, uh, thank you Max for XCSOR um, and all the other developers who help maintain that thing um, and then you're going to need on Android um, some sort of file uh, manager I used FX file manager by next app um, it's free and last you're going to want an IGC file viewer I use this one by Cubetted called IGC browser and viewer um, all these apps are for Android the series is on using Seesaw with Android um, the other thing you're going to need is a text viewer or text file viewer on your Android phone. Um, I use the one that's included in, in FX uh, File Explorer. It seemed to work great. Okay, where are my log files and what are they? Um, first, I'm just going to open this up with Windows because um, I think people are more used to seeing what the file structure looks like uh, here. So, um, double click on uh, my phone, internal storage, and down here you can see the directory XCSOR data. Uh, double click on that and um, at this level you're going to see flights.log, XCSOR log, um, the old which is the previous version uh, keeps two copies the one the one the most recent copy of the log and then the previous one to that um, and then if you have the uh, flarm uh, log that would show up in here too. If you double click on logs now you're going to see your IGC files, and if you've done uh, NMEA logging, that would show up uh, at this level as well. Okay, now I'm on the phone. I'm just going to show you how this FX file viewer um, program works. So I'm going to open that guy up. Okay, click on main storage, or this is a UI for this uh, app. Again, it's free. Click on main storage. Um, and you can show different these uh, you know stuff either as icons or a list. Uh, I prefer the grid view; it gives you a lot of information in a small amount of space. Okay, so there, just like on the um, on Windows, there's the XCSOR data, and here's where you find flights.log, XCSOR.log, and then uh, click on logs, and you see the .igc files and the .nmea files. Okay, so we're going to come back and show you how to open these up and view them um, after we set up XCSOR. Okay, so let's work on setting up XCSOR for automatic logging. So let's get rid of FX File Viewer and open up XCSOR. Apply. All right, go into Menu, click on Config, uh, you want System, you want Setup, and you want Logger. All right, so on this page is where you set the parameters. Okay, so the first thing is going to put your pilot name in there, and that'll show up in your IGC file. Uh, time step for cruise five seconds. I say less than six or less is good. Uh, it's time time step for circling one second. You know, uh, you can mess around with this. Um, auto logger you want that to be on. Okay, you can also set it to start only or off. Okay, so uh, the start only might be good if you're um, planning some touch and goes and want to do it all together, or if you're paragliding, I think a lot of this stuff is set up for paragliding. Nemea Logger, um, I leave it off. Um, it collects a lot more data than um, than uh, the data files is a, are a lot bigger than uh, the IGC files. Logbook on, so that's going to click on um, that flights uh, dot logbook, uh, flights dot log file. That'll it'll be there. And logger ID, you know, I haven't figured out where this data goes, so I just leave it blank. Um, and that's um, that's how you set it up. Um, now, what's going to happen is when you start um, flight, it will automatically start recording the IGC files, and um, and it'll make an entry in the flights.log for you, uh, and then it'll stop when you do uh, when you come to a halt. Okay, so now let's say you've gone flying and you want to um, look at your log files or replay them. So the first way we'll look at it is just using XCSOR to replay it. Um, go into the menu, click Config, 
config13, and then you'll see the replay button. Click that. Click the file you want to um, want to replay. We'll choose this one and just click start and it's gonna start you know replaying it you can you know you see all the same information uh you can pan around you know use it just like although like you're using xcsor but um you know it's just you know, looking at the data um that it's got stored so you can speed it up which is cool we can get faster um if you want to pause it, go ahead and just uh, hit zero as your speed. It's the best way to pause it. Hit stop. It's going to re restart it from the beginning. This um, plus 10 minutes um, doesn't really seem to work on Android. You would think it would just kind of fast forward through the file, you know, 10 minutes, but as I said, it doesn't really seem to work on Android. Okay, so the next way to look at it, um, the files is to actually use the IGC browser. So when you start XCSOR, it creates these IGC files, and um, we can open those up in this tool, and it shows you it has three different views. One's got the the map plus the bar graph. Um, one thing's kind of cool is you can kind of see, you know, where the altitude is and all that stuff. I think the other one's speed. Um, and then if you click change view. <clears throat> you get more information here so this might be really good for filling out your log um, so the you know the recording was you know the duration of the flight uh, how long it was um, takeoff time again it's in UTC min max altitude um, so really a lot more detailed information for filling out your logs um, let's see another thing about this program if you click up here on settings um, you can change it to feet and miles if you want. So let me just go back here, and now the data is in feet and miles. Okay, and then the last way is to use the text viewer. Again, I'm going to use the text viewer that came with FX uh, File Manager. You go into Main Storage, go down to XCSOR Data, and if I open up this flights log, it's going to show you. Um, your start and stop times. Again, that's in um, UTC or Zulu time as far as start and stops. Um, let's see. And um, the other thing that you've got here is the XC SOAR log. Like, this is this log here is created one file every time XC SOAR starts. And it's really debugging information for the developer. So if you you know you want to Make an, if you find an error and you submit a, uh, a bug report, then this is just a file that they may ask you to try to um, attach to that bug report. So it gives them a little bit more information. Um, the xcsor-old.log is the same log, it's just the previous time you ran it. So there's always the last two times that you ran xcsor, there's a log file for debugging you know, for each of those um, uh, in the directory. Um, you can open these logs down in here. Um, these the NMEA logs are you know text viewable. It's just the raw NMEA data, um, and the IGC files are also text files. Um, but they're you know um, pretty uh, you know there's a little bit of information here, um, but you're not going to get you know using that uh, IGC viewer is going to give you a lot more info. All right, okay, so that's it for today. Thanks.